accused of murdering the 25-year-old whose body was found earlier this week in Coas County, New Hampshire. But he's not the only one in trouble. The body of Jonathan Amaral was found Tuesday, and an autopsy reports he died from a gunshot wound to the head. New Hampshire State Police and the AG's office say 30-year-old Armando Barron was arrested today and charged with capital murder. They say Barron lured Amaral to Annette Wayside Park in a ringe overnight last weekend and shot him during a kidnapping. Additionally, Barron's wife, 31-year-old Brittany Barron, was arrested yesterday. Police say when she found out an investigation into Amaro's death was going to happen, she messed with evidence. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again and hit you all with another video. Hope you all are having a very great week. Hope you all are having a very great day also. My day is going very well. Week has been awesome. Thanks to everybody that's a part of Trey King Show family, the channel members, and also to the subscribers. We have a story, you all. Yes, we have a story coming out of Jeffrey, New Hampshire. The first time I ever did a story about Jeffrey. You know, I had to make sure the city was named Jeffrey. But anyway, a lot of you all may be familiar with the story. It's kind of an update to the story. We had a man who kills his wife, side dude, and also made the wife help him kill the damn side dude. Not only the fact that he caught the side dude, but he killed the guy in the most brutal way. Shot the man three times and then started stomping his vocal cords and then forced his wife to decapitate the dude. Now, that got to be one of the worst deaths ever. Like, what the hell is wrong with people? I mean, you think by you sitting up here killing the side dude, you think that's going to stop your wife from cheating? And also, just look at this little fat, grizzly bastard. I mean, no wonder that she was cheating on him any damn way. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and cheat or whatnot, but if you're going to cheat, I mean, damn, make sure. Make sure you at least clean up your damn trail. But, you know, some people say, well, why don't you just leave the person? Shoot, some people would not let you leave them, period. I mean, you try to leave if you want to. Some of y'all scared to leave right now and been trying to leave for the last two or three years. Anyway, now, this goes to show you that some people just not wrapped tight in this world. It also goes to show you that some people just refuse to let go. I mean, damn, if I had, you know what I'm saying? If I had a wife, my wife was cheating on me or whatnot, and I know she cheating, guess what, boo-boo? You can have, oh boy, y'all gonna live your life. I'm gonna find somebody better than you anyway. Cause nine times out of ten, I'll probably tire of your ass. Anyway, but look, I'm not gonna tarry too long with this story. Cause I know you all have a lot to do today. I do also. I'm gonna read a quick snippet from this story. And I'm gonna get my opinion. All of it. Surely. As we go. Man kills his wife's side, dude. Forces her to decapitate the guy. Like, damn, out of all damn things to do. Why not just, you know what I'm saying? Kick the guy in the ass or something. What the hell are you cutting his head off? It's going to make you feel any better for it. I don't even understand that. Like, who in the hell does that? Like, that's the most sadistic thing in the damn world. No wonder she was cheating on you. I mean, damn. And then you see her eye. Like, damn, he tried to knock her damn eye through the back of her head. You all got to stop cheating on these crazy-ass guys. Don't cheat anyway. But if you're going to cheat, make sure the guy ain't crazy. Or make sure that the side dude is just as crazy as the guy you're cheating with. So in case some shit pop off, the side dude would have your back. Anyway. Now, a New Hampshire man is accused of murdering his wife, male lover, and later forcing her to decapitate him to help dispose of the body, says the news station. And that's a horrible way to die. Now, a lot of you all might be wondering how in the hell did the side dude wind up in the husband's prisons? Well, first of all, he grabbed the wife's cell phone, probably seen all kind of cock pictures in there and everything. Probably fell play because the guy probably packing more meat than him. Anyway, so he started texting the side dude or whatnot, like they were finna hook up for a rendezvous, and the side dude thinking that it's the wife hollering at him. So evidently, he must have thinking nothing of it or didn't think anything was wrong or this was not the ordinary. So maybe they must have been communicating like this off and on or whatever. But the side dude jumped in his car. He left his hometown of King, New Hampshire, and drove all the way to Jaffrey, New Hampshire, which was, I think, like 22.8 miles, almost 20, 30 minutes apart. But anyway, so the whole time that he's driving or whatnot, I'm sure something should have crossed his mind told him, look, look. Do not go. I mean, damn, something should have told him, turn your ass around, leave this woman alone because it's a trap. Anyway, authority issued an arrest warrant for Amanda Barron, 30 years old. They can't be no damn 30 years old. Golly. Oh, my God. Look at every bit. If you mess with my damn cookie, I will kill you. If my wife want to be with you, I'm going to have kill her and then force her to kill you. 45 in the damn face. And Brittany Barron, 31 years old. Looking like Popeye the Sailor Man with that one eye. Anyway, that's what you get for cheating. 31 years old, look every bit. A one-eyed Willie off a pirate ship. My cookie is very hungry. 46 in the face. Who are charging the death of 25-year-old Jonathan Arsenault. 
The wife confessed to the police after she was allegedly caught disposing of Jonathan's remains, which include his headless body. Sad situation right there, but it goes to show you right there, you know what I'm saying? Even though Jonathan was wrong for messing with his man's wife or whatnot, but damn, does that warrant this man getting killed or whatnot? Some of y'all going to relate back to the Bible saying, you know, the Bible says this and says that or whatnot about killing and cheating, but how in the hell do you decapitate some damn body? I can see just whooping somebody's ass, you know what I'm saying, putting the paws on them. But you think I'm going to sit there and chop somebody's damn head off? Hell no. I'd be like, baby, you can have him. This is not even worth the trouble. Matter of fact, I had somebody in the wind anyway. I'll just wait for you to leave. Anyway, Brittany Barron says, I'm in big trouble, as she told the agents who found her in the damn woods. Now, I want to know who found her in the woods. Was it a sheriff or was it somebody having to do with the forest industry, one of those uh, wildlife people that go out there and check on, you know, them woods or whatnot? Who the hell found her in the damn woods? And then she confessed to every damn thing, talking about I'm in big trouble. And they probably just wondering what the hell you were doing out there. Probably wanted to buy some of that stuff too, you know? Anyway, that's when the news learned that things went crazy in her statement to police. Brittany said that last Saturday, her husband went through her phone and realized she was romantically involved with Jonathan, her co-worker. And while you all have your damn phones, by you, if you're going to cheat, have two phones. Have one phone with you and have one phone that you keep outside in a Ziploc bag in a century safe buried in the backyard. And make sure they have no metal detector, one of those things they go around finding coins. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you're going to cheat, do it well. Because look what happened when you mess up. Anyway, now Amanda allegedly flew into a rage, beating and choking the woman until she passed out. Then woke up and beat her ass some more. Later that night, police say that he came up with a plan to murder the side dude, and he used his wife's phone to do it. Damn, side uh, dude, shit. But at the same time, why didn't the wife call the damn police? I mean, damn, you weren't, you weren't trying to protect the side dude, would? I mean, that's how much you thought of the dude? Or you just really scared of your damn husband? I'm sure your husband went to the bathroom or whatever. You could have slipped something in his drink, jumped in the car and drove the hell off. But unless there were two vehicles and he had a key somewhere else, your ass would have been in trouble. He probably tried to run you off the road. But anyway, let's finish up. Now, Armando allegedly texted Jonathan and lured him to a park, the warrant says. My thing is this right here, you know what I'm saying? For some of you side dudes and child chicks out there right now, some of y'all right now with somebody that's married or somebody that's in a relationship, you know, listen up. If, if you're away from your side partner and you get a strange text message saying, meet me here, and you know you ain't never met there, do not go. Chances are somebody's waiting on your ass, whether it's the man or the woman or somebody there waiting to put your ass in the ground. Anyway, now once Jonathan arrived, Amanda viciously beat the living hell out of him, the wife said, and then tried to force her to shoot him and crush his throat with her foot. When she refused, Amanda allegedly shot Jonathan three times, ultimately killing him. I mean, damn, just imagine if you was on the damn ground or whatnot. I would have been pissing the shit all on my damn said like, please, mister, please don't do it. She she forced it on me. She forced it on me. I was walking to the bathroom one day, and she was sitting at the break table. She bust that thing wide open, and I said, oh, my Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, and he knows what I want, but I'm sorry, mister. Kill her instead, and we can keep this a secret. Anyway, now, according to the warrant, Amando then order his wife to drive her lover's body to a campsite and dispose of his body. Now, that's some shit right there that you're going to kill, side dude, and then force your wife to drive the body, and then force her to chop the guy's head off me down. Talk about being complicit in the crime. Anyway, he communicated to her that once the sun came up the next morning, that he would ultimately forgive her. So, look, even though you messed up, and even though I beat your ass for cheating on me and whatnot, and you're going to help me kill the side dude, when the sun come up tomorrow, guess what, boo-boo? I will surely forgive you. You'll be back in my good graces. And I'm sure as hell, like wondering how the hell did you buy that? What the hell the sun got to do would come up for another day? I guess he said, well, hell, at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. We can try this thing out tomorrow. But once there, the nightmare did not end. Brittany Barron claims that Armando made her saw off Arsenal's head, which was then buried in the damn dirt. Poor, poor, poor guy. The next part of the plan was to dig a grave for the rest of the body. Armando planned to drive to King and send texts from Arsenal's phone to throw off anyone looking for the young man, Brittany said. So after he came to Jaffrey and they lured him to a campsite and they killed him, he then came up with a plan to drive back to King where this guy was from and leave text messages and whatnot. So when they do the tracing and whatnot with the cell phone towers, it would show that he was giving off cell phone messages in King, which it wasn't really him. It was the damn husband the whole time. But this goes to show you what's done in the dark will always come into the light. Stop doing things 
that's going to get you in trouble. Stop doing things that you know that you know will lead to your demise. I mean, true. Some people do not beat their spouse up and kill their spouse for cheating hell. Some of y'all forget y'all spouse three, four times. But at the same time, is your life worth ending just because your spouse want to give up that cookie or that sausage? Is your life worth that much right there? Let the person go and find somebody else. Because I'm sure if this guy had to do over again, decide to do, that he would not pick this damn woman. I mean, damn, that's a crying damn shame. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. I'm out.